Deputy President Rigathe Gashagwa has today commissioned the newly formed National Drought Response Steering Committee. President William Ruto announced the formation of the committee earlier this week to lead the efforts to mitigate the impact of the drought situation in the country. The 15 team will be chaired by Peter Ndegwa, CEO Safaricom PLC, and will report directly to the Deputy President. The team has been tasked to establish a private sector drought mitigation appeal fund under the ausp auspices of the Kenya Red Cross and mobilize resources to supplement the government's drought response efforts. We all operate and run large organizations and we know that unless Kenyans are doing well and continue to have a livelihood that they can rely on, as companies uh, we cannot be able to be successful in the long term. So we are here to support, we take the challenge and Your Excellency we commit uh, that through these eminent uh, team members of the committee uh, we will do our very best to ensure that we uh, deal with both the emergency elements but also the long term and we appeal to Kenyans every single Kenyan to come together in cash in kind donate your bonga points there's approximately and I can say this because I run Safaricom there's approximately four billion Kenya shillings worth of bonga points that sit in all our various accounts uh, and I'm sure there are many of us who can be able to donate some of those bonga points to ensure that we don't have kids going home hungry there will be no parallel pay bill and means of making contribution to this appeal other than the official channels that will be outlined by this committee by the end of the day. We warn cartels, conmen and fraudsters who want to take advantage of this initiative to con the people of Kenya money. We want to tell conmen and fraudsters and all those people who want to take advantage of this very difficult situation that they will not know peace in their lifetime. Taking advantage of this situation to con people money when people are hungry, when people are dying, is not only ungodly but unacceptable. We ask our governors in the adversely affected areas to prioritize saving lives and livelihoods through diversion and the allocation of development money to save lives. A family in Nyando is crying for justice after their teenage daughter died mysteriously while in school. The minor is said to have developed a short illness that led to her death. 